Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are looking at something that was announced during the the Game Awards 2016. Um, that finished a few hours ago previously. I didn't actually catch the whole show. I just caught um, bits and pieces of it as I was working on other projects. But the big thing that was to be released was the Hideo Kojima trailer for Death Standing, which was a, a teased previously uh, with um, a small piece of footage about whales dead on a beach and a guy with fingerprints and marks over his body and it was played by Daryl from Walking Dead. It, it was interesting. Um, obviously you have no explanation as to what it was, but now we have the explanation. We have a, a good solid 9-10 minutes of footage of this, so let's jump into it and see what the hell it is. All right. So very similar to the original one. Um, a lot of dead crabs and fish and stuff on a very uh, out of tide beach. What does this all mean? Created and developed by Kojima Productions. Obviously a Hideo Kojima game. Dead baby, dead baby. World War Two with vapor trails. All right, interesting. Is that Jim? <laughs> it's just kind of one of those things where it's a little bit weird. It's either Paul Bearer or Jim Sterling. Ah, a writhing mass of tank and innards. Great. So I think he's still got his heart on for uh, PMC uh, Militaria. Do you think? Do you think Hideo Kojima's got, got more Metal Gear Solid in him? <laughs> The tide is high and I'm almost done. I'm gonna be your number one. Oh, hi there, baby. Ain't you till as grippy? Ah, uh, yes. That's not a real baby. The real baby's in your hands. But that's just as terrifying, if not more so. I have to hold on to this baby. I have to hold on to this baby. Oh, good for giving us a wee wink there, baby. Yeah? We onto you? You onto us? I think it's time to shit or, shit or get off the pot. Go into the tunnel or not. Oh, no. Creepy light, baby. That's even creepier. <gasps> what have we got for us? Shot, 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 shot. Noise, noise, noise. Wow, 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 wow. Go, 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 go. Mm-hmm. Soldiers with skull faces. Tethered to a man. What does it all mean? What does it all mean? Okay. Mickelson? Obviously recognize your face. Are you cutting your tethers and your umbilical cords to all of those men? Are you a surreal biomechanical octopus? Oh no, the baby's going to look at you! Uh, 
That Fox engine does look pretty badass. Is that it? Norman Reedus and Mads Michelson. Is that really all there is? Alright, so I was saying, gee, I thought there was going there's more of it, but that's that's all we got? What the hell? Alright, so I was wondering there because it must have been um the way this guy was actually like somebody ripped the video from uh, the show is actually, of course, the um, the material just looped over twice. So, what did we learn from that? What did we learn from um, the Hideo Kojima's presentation here? Let's bring the audio back up again so you can actually guys enjoy it in the background. We learned little to nothing. We had uh, Jim Sterling with a beard uh, standing holding a baby in a container. Um... We had cables and bits and wires hanging from military materials like uh, tentacles. We had a tank filled with uh, biological garbage. This reminds me more of um, what was a visual novel game, um, Song of Saya, than anything else. Just the world seems that kind of like weird, kind of like biological monstrosity going on all around it, like coming out of the walls, coming out of the people, as though how they're seen as actually being monstrous. Imagine this is some kind of perceptual bizarrity that's actually like involved with the game. Um, worldwide infection, or this is actually what somebody's actually seeing for real for the first time, and the only things that are pure and clean are these babies in the containers, possibly being hunted. Everything from rainbows to blood oil going on here. I, that's, I, I don't know what this is. What the hell? Um, I'm not massively entertained by what Kojima's kind of putting across, man. I can understand why Konami just went, would you shut the fuck up and just let us release this game? Whenever Kim did MGS5. I mean, did he just... Wa oh, hang on, here's a question. Did he just hook himself up to that? Yeah? Right, so you saw the other guy was actually hooked up to the soldiers uh, and then detached himself from the soldiers whenever they moved away. Did he just jack himself into this baby? As if it was some kind of like pure sore power source or helpful power source of some sort? Weird. Okay, connecting to his inner child or something. I don't know. I, I'm reading into this. And this is the birth tunnel and the vagina. And Michelson is the invading penis that is going to inseminate the mind of the character. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But that's essentially as far as I can read from it. So this is all about Michelson uh, taking his many, many tendril penises and sliding them inside your brain and mucking them around. And somehow he's taking a baby or making a baby. And the baby turns out to be Daryl. And this is all like the prequel to The Walking Dead, and it's going to come up with a completely different name up the near the end. That's it. There we go. That's what's going on here. All we're getting up to is just um, a bunch of Hideo Kojima uh, fetish, fetish things. The only thing missing from this is a scantily clad woman. That's the only thing missing from this trailer that actually doesn't have Hideo Kojima just watermarks on it. We've got surreal imagery. We've got uh, militaria. We've got... the. You've got an interesting character work. I mean, it's just, the only reason why it's interesting is because of the fidelity of this. I mean, this is actually a... Like, Michelson, uh, Michelson Mads, what, Madsy, man. You're an in, uh, interesting character, actor, freaking fantastic. Yeah, depicting you, articulating you as an artificial creature, creature on screen. Very well done. This will be a probably interesting movie. I'm not too concerned about it otherwise. So, yeah, that's been the Dev Standing or Dead Standing trailer that was shown as part of TGA 2016, which, by the way, was an awful show into itself. But, um, yeah, what do we learn? Absolutely nothing. I see the stitched up umbilical, like the um, Tommy, the, 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 
Tommy's been slit or something. So I imagine something's crawled inside on all these characters and creatures and it's actually infected them in some way, shape, or form. Or it's been some biological uh, modification. But um, yeah, that's what I think it was. It was actually hooking himself up to... Is it this guy was a criminal in a way? Like From what I could read on it, was that he was a criminal for um, uh, stealing a baby. And they're hunting him, but not actually directly hunting him. It's just a military that's all going on around it. So... There was a lot of things to glean from that, but every single last one of them could be completely wrong because this is a hit to the deal piece and it's been hyped up to the point where anything could be possible, mattering on whether or not he decides on it uh, further down the line. So yeah, guys, that was um, Death Standing. Not massively excited, just a lot of Hideo Kojima bullshit. Um, but Blessed TB and all that kind of fucking crap. Um, auteur director looks interesting it's better to be interesting than to be boring anyway but um i'm not hyped or excited for this at all i mean i do i do still kind of wish we'd we're going to see the the silent hills game or silent yeah silent hills game that he was going to work on like something done in that way maybe with resident evil 7 but i don't know there's there i don't know what he's got in the tank for this all of his crazy um character designy stuff is obviously going to come to the fore with all these tentacle penises. But, um, yeah, the only thing he was missing from that was this gigantic clad woman. Otherwise, that was a perfectly typical example of Hideo Kojima advertising. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed what we're what I just said, you can hit the subscribe button up here. And, of course, you can hit stuff over here on the side. That's all the um, stuff I've been working on recently on the channel. Make sure to check it out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.